So differentials are an application of using the derivative, and differentials are mostly used to approximate changes in a function. So oftentimes when you've had a function, y equals f of x, when you take the derivative, you've mostly wrote this as dy dx is f prime of x, and that just is taking the derivative of the function. So in order to do a differential, what we want to do is actually separate the dy and dx terms so that we get dy is equal to f prime of x dx. The reason we want to do that is because in questions where you're going to have to use differentials, you want to say if the change in x is approximately this much, what is the change in y going to be? Now the derivative gives you the ratio of the change in y to change in x, a slope. But in differentials problems, you're going to want to separate that out. So let's do an example problem real quick. Let's say we had a function, um, let's go with x cubed plus 4x plus 2. And we were asked on this function representing something, if x uh, is 2 and is could be changing by... Uh, point 0.1, what is the change in y? So what you want to write down for something like that is, you'll see x equals 2, and they might say it's changing from 2 to 2.1. What is the approximate change in y? And that's all a differential can give you is the approximate change. So what we need to do is use this formula right here. dy is exactly what we're looking for. We would take the derivative of this function, 3x squared plus 4, and we need to multiply that by the derivative, or the change in x. Since x is going from 2 to 2.1, the change is a positive 0.1. So the only thing we need to do now is figure out what we plug in for x. Well, when you're doing a differentials problem, you always plug in what the x started at. And then you think about how much it changed. But this term right here, uh, when you do the f prime, this should always be what your x began at. Remember that if this was a 2 to 1.9, for example, this would then be a negative 0.1. So we're going to plug in 2 for x here. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. And 12 plus 4 is 16. So we get 16 times 0.1, which would of course be 1.6. So what that means is if the x, if this function represented some sort of quantity in a word problem, and x was some value that changed from 2 to 2.1, in doing so, the y is going to change by approximately 1.6. So many questions are going to ask you, what is the new value of y? Well, if the y changed by 1.6, we just need to figure out what it was. What the y was would just be plugging in 2 to our function. So if we plug in 2 to our function, we get 8 plus 8 plus 2. So that gives us 18. So if, the, if we had a starting y of 18 and it changed by 1.6, our new y would be approximately 19.6. So differentials just involves taking the derivative, splitting up the dy dx, and thinking about how the things are changing, and uh, applying that formula.